Dr. Candace, you've been speaking about the importance of the beginning of the new month on the Hebrew calendar, mm -hmm. uh, Nisan, is that what it's mm -hmm. called? Right. Yeah. And uh, tell us more about that. Yes, for 16 years, I've studied the integration of the Hebrew calendar with the Gregorian calendar. And so... Very actually, important. Yeah, very important. And um, I actually have a class with Charisma. It's called Journey Through the Hebrew Calendar. And so I have people all over the world that will journey oh, wow. with me through the Hebrew calendar. Excellent. And um, uh, people can access that through charismacourses.com or through my website. Mm -hmm. And uh, as they journey with me, um, I not only bring prophetic word, because I can understand what God is doing in the earthly realms through understanding his calendar and through the word of God, it all integrates, okay, together. So this is like the voice of the prophets, right? Yeah. right. So you're looking at the Hebrew calendar right. and you're not allowing the Gregorian calendar in our times and seasons to dictate what God is doing. Instead, yeah. you're allowing the Hebrew calendar and the revelation that's coming forth there to bring what the prophetic word is for that time and season. Amen. And so it just so happens Good. that uh, Nisan, which is considered to be the first month on the religious Hebrew calendar. Now, there's actually four Hebrew calendar New Year's. Two of them is what most people know and understand. One is in the month of Nisan, and that uh, the, the major uh, uh, appointed time and season during the month of Nisan, of course, is Passover yeah. and or our Resurrection Sunday, which we celebrate. Okay, yeah. And of course, Resurrection Sunday will come a couple of days after Passover or the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Mm -hmm. And then on Resurrection Sunday, it's called the Feast of First Fruits. It's the day that he rose, right? Yeah. And for those of us who believe in him, we are the brothers and sisters who are the results of the first fruit, mm -hmm. okay? So then uh, from there, if you fast forward to the fall time frame, our fall feasts, they happen in the month of Tishri. And that's around uh, the time of Rosh Hashanah, which mm -hmm. is happening, um, I believe it's September 26th this year. I'm gonna be ministering in South Carolina, actually. They asked me to come and to teach on these particular um, understanding of what what do the fall feasts mean. And there's three of those. There's Rosh Hashanah, the Day of Atonement, and then also the Feast of Tabernacles, which yeah. is between September and October. So this is a very holy time. Yes, so in my book, it. I talk about there's times and seasons for portals. So when you come to the Lord during the month of Nisan, and the Lord spoke to Moses himself in Exodus chapter 12, and said that this will be called the first month of my year. And then he says, okay, on the 14th day of this month, which happens to be Friday, April 15th, that is the day that you would bring forth a sacrificial offering unto me, which is, of course, for us, that's Jesus, our Passover yes. lamb, okay? Yes. And yes. So, so Jewish people all over the world, and of course, us who are Christians, we gather together during that time and we remember, okay, Passover. The Jews remember the Passover that they experienced when they were released from captivity in Egypt, and they gathered together in the homes, all came yes. together, and they killed the blood of a pure lamb, and they put it on the, on the doorpost, yes. right, like a cross, right, right? over the doorpost, yeah. and then the angel of death passed over, all right, and yeah. everyone that was in the home was safe. Then from there, they took their journey to the promised land, which as we know, the story goes, it took them 40 years to get there, right, because right? yeah. they had to get Egypt out of themselves yes. in order to be able to step into the promised land. For us, it's Good Friday, mm -hmm. and we remember mm -hmm. the fact that Jesus, our Passover lamb, shed his blood for yes. forgiveness of our sins, yes. that we might be saved, healed, yeah. redeemed, and made whole. And then we'll gather together at church on Resurrection Sunday, and Amen. we will remember that sin, death, and the grave has been overcome Amen. because he has Amen. risen. Amen. He Hallelujah. has risen. Yes. That's a, that is a good.